creating any noise, right? So Porsche just launched. Here's what blows my mind about auto. Um, you know, sometimes the, the 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 head of departments of for these brands are like politicians. They don't think right. They've made this Porsche the electric one, they right? Can. The Taycan or whatever the name is. Yeah. And they want to compete against Tesla with it. Okay, first of all, let's get this straight. And I said this before, Tesla doesn't just make cars. If Tesla decides to shut down their manufacturing for cars completely, you know what they can do? They will just lease out their chargers to other companies. There, th this is why I said to you before, Elon Musk is a stupid genius because he knows he can. Th there is a book that everybody should read. It's called Competitive Advantage. And it shows, it talks about uh, the... Uh, the uh, the the ability of a company to be competitive in the market, and they have a different ways, whether it's logistics, whether it's price, whether it's delivery times and all that. Like Amazon has delivery times and price. Uh, Tesla has competitive advantage when it comes to charging. And of course, they make a lot of hype as well. They're very good at making hype. Yeah. Um, so if Porsche wants to compete against Tesla, it's not about zero to 60. They show us all this crap in here about zero to 60 and how good the Porsche was. We saw, remember Nick, we saw that together. I think we saw it at the auto show. At the auto show, it's, yeah. It's an amazing Porsche. Again, it's a Porsche, right? It's, it's a beautiful car, don't get me wrong. But that's not what's going to take people to be convinced, to convince people to, to, to get this car. It's beyond that. And this is why I think companies are wasting their money and their research in creating all these electric cars. Stick with hybrids, it's easier. You can sell yeah. it to anyone. Yeah. Stick to yeah. hybrids. I don't like hybrids. Don't get me wrong, but I'd rather get a hybrid than get a <laughs> electric car that doesn't have charging. Yeah, that's you know, true. If, yeah. if I'm ever going to buy an electric car as a, as a consumer, I will a hundred percent go for Tesla. And I hate their cars, but I will go because I need a peace of mind when I'm going. My wife and I we travel a lot and we drive a lot. Um, I've done up to twenty hours of driving with cars, and I need to have a peace of mind that if I'm going to go down to Philadelphia, I don't have to worry about pushing my car to Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll no, it's, a, no, it's true. It's true. This is what yeah. it comes down to. And these guys are building all this Taycan and freaking Mac E and all this great cars. Don't get me wrong. By the way, Ford, if, if someone from Ford is watching this, why in hell did you put that freaking thing in the, on top of it there? Nobody could see it. Like, remember that the auto show, they put it on top of the uh, display. Yeah. Like, the, the come multiple, on. Yeah, where you couldn't even see inside. That was so silly. That, that was so – like they're trying to show us this thing and it's like, it's like showing a, a cake uh, to the guests and not giving them a piece. Like, come on. We need to test this thing. Like it, it, it was the same thing and I think this is what companies are, get, are getting wrong with electric cars. They're, they're going about around – if I was one of their research or one of their head of EV department, I will say, okay, let's go to Petro Canada and let's get these guys – get a single cable in every station you know yeah, one, yeah. two or three spots and we'll pay them 10 to 15 dollars or whatever it is the price and then charge the customers that's what tesla does you have to pay extra to get free charging uh or uh, they charge you straight to your credit card it comes straight to your bill so you don't have to pay when you charge your car that, look at the advancement of this guy of this company right you don't even have to pay there there's no uh, put a timer or pay yeah, it just phone. it rolls into your monthly payment, right? Exactly. And <laughs> let let's talk to Petro Canada or Shell or Suncor in the states or anyone, and and let's get this thing. Get three charging ports in every gas station, and let's start building cars. But the problem is that they don't have initiatives to do this. They don't see the future in this, and they're just giving the market something they can show that hey we're doing an electric car here here you go but it's not right it's not boost on to compete with tesla and the reason why tesla opened their uh, their uh, patents to the world is so that they can get for tesla it's better to have more competition because more competition more people will buy okay, electric cars more cars they're going to sell right yeah Equals more sales, absolutely. You, yep. know, you know what I mean? The, the, as I said, again, Elon Musk is a stupid genius and he knows what he's doing exactly. But I think um, we, we need to, uh, like brands like Ford have the research and the money to make a huge change in the market. 